Look at me! Aren't I the greatest? Melbourne's La Mama Theatre opened in 1967 and it's been the stomping ground for many beloved Australian actors, writers and directors, including Uncle Jack Charles, Kate Blanchett and David Williamson. Well, I was trying to reproduce an Australian version of what I'd seen in New York, a rather primitive theatre perhaps, contemporary, in a, in a small space. La Mama doesn't attempt to dictate style or content. It's actually there to respond to what is out there and to encourage it to you know, be heard. It's hosted countless plays, it's launched numerous careers and it's all happened in a room no bigger than your great-grandmother's bathroom. Many things, when they're moved from here to another space, fade, are smaller. Because of the intensity of the, the space forces a play to have. I don't put on shows here to make money because it's in actual fact not about money. La Mama to me is very much an environment of expression. When you've got a, a room which is this small it challenges the imagination and if you scrape back the paint you can see all the years that this room has been painted. Do you think they could, should keep painting? And it's so small anyway, if you keep painting it just reduces the space, doesn't it? Well it does, but someone said if it burnt on the outside it would stay up anyway with a painted wall, so <laughs> yeah. 50 years of theatre history up in flames. It took firefighters 40 minutes to bring the blaze at La Mama Theatre under control. I know it's a very small space, but it had a very big history and a very, very important place in the heart of the creative community of Australia, really. When La Mama burnt down in 2018, well, the state government raced to our assistance to let us know how important they thought we were. But then again, the whole community and the philanthropic sector, everyone just came in behind us. And, you know, we raised the 3.5 million that we needed for this wonderful rebuild. So I suppose the fact that the theatre's been locked down for 18 months, more or less, while construction industry has continued to operate, has just entirely changed the focus of my job. So I've been working in construction, basically, for the last couple of years. And and while it's been really hard managing the shutdown, there's been this constant optimism, hope, sense of future, being in a space that is literally being rebuilt in front of our eyes. Working on this rebuild was not unlike uh, working on a theatre show with a script, because it's not like you're starting out in a blank ground even though there'd been such destruction. That was a destruction of a building that didn't destroy history. I've been around La Mama Theatre since I think it was 1992. There were some great shows that I got to work on. I think every one of them taught me so much and created the artist and the architect that I am today. Very early on in the process, we decided that the theatre had to stay as the theatre was. It was completely destroyed, but the footprint was still there, and so that was sacrosanct. I've always thought that La Mama was the golden mean of intimate theatre, and I really wanted that treasure preserved, because it is the immediacy, the intimacy. The metaphor for the project, for me, was the Banksia pod, and when it's in the intense fire, the pods open up and the seeds are released. So I really took that idea that a, a seed was being released for new growth. You can see the line along the wall where the old bricks are, and then there's new bricks above. So that gives you the fire line. We didn't want to hide that there was a fire. We wanted to actually celebrate the fire. So some of the great things that have come out of the rebuild We've got a new box office. We've got a rehearsal hub. Plus we have a larger area for performers to do makeup and, and costume. We've got two lifts. I've always loved creative people. I've always loved creations. I've always loved the freshness that comes with being with artists. And I guess every day, at La Mama has some pieces of joy and it's kept me going for nearly 50 years here. 
Well, I think the next 50 years will continue to evolve. We will respond to the work that is pressing and urgent and needing to be shown from the artist. But I think that fundamentally, the premise remains and it's my responsibility to ensure that the legacy of, of everything that's been created is not lost in the future. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm very, I feel very confident about the future. <laughs> Viva la mama! Yeah!